Okay, another math video from AlgebraTestHelper.com. And what we want to do here in this uh, video is find the slope uh, given these two points, these two coordinates. Okay, I'm going to give you a couple names for a point. These are points that are on a line, so you'll you'll hear them referred to as points. You also he um, hear them referred to as coordinates or ordered pairs. So what I want to do is find the slope. Okay, and in algebra, the slope is always indicated by this little small m. Okay, lowercase m is our variable. So let me just kind of draw a little x, y coordinate plane here. So here's x and here's y. So the coordinate, 1, 3, would be uh, maybe someplace like right here. Okay, that would be 1, 3. And then 4, 10 might be like up here. Okay, so I have these two points or order pairs or coordinates and a line crosses through those two points and what I want to do is find the slope or the angle of that line because that's the that's the nature of this question so hopefully most of you out there are familiar with what I'm trying to uh, get at here now to find the slope of a line okay the slope m is equal to the rise over the run and the the rise is going to be the differences of the y's okay we're going to subtract the y um, parts of these coordinates and the run is the differences of the x. Okay, so that's the basic slope uh, formula. So let's see how it works. All right, so m is going to be equal to, all right, we're going to subtract the y's here. So this is a y and this is a y. And to be clear, remember these are ordered pairs, these are coordinates. This is our x part, this is our y part, this is our x part, and this is our y part. So you can see here that 3 and 10 are our y parts. Okay, so it's going to be 3 minus 10 here. Or actually, it could be 3 minus 10 or 10 minus 3. And this is extremely, extremely important. Okay. A matter of fact, let me go ahead and um, stress this now. So let's see how I wrote this. This is the differences of the y's. Okay. I wrote it 3 minus 10. I started with this y first. Okay. This, I started with this point, this, this point's information first. I decided to put the 3 down. It's not a, it's not a problem. Okay. So I have 3 minus 10. Okay. Uh, no issues here. The thing is this. Now I have to find the differences of the x, x's, okay, in my denominator. So I have to ask myself, am I going to start with the 1? Okay, that's an x, or the 4? Okay, so this, these are my x's now. Okay. Well, because I started with the 3, okay, because I started with this point's information first, I have to um, be consistent and start with it also in the denominator. So I have 3 minus 10. I have to start with this point's x value. So that's 1 minus 4. Okay. So you can set it up that way. 3 minus 10 over 1 minus 4. Or if you wanted to, you could do the same thing this way. Go ahead and put our little colors in. Okay. And you can see that it's not going to make a difference. But, but the order does make it... Um, is uh, extremely important when you're calculating slope. So let's suppose I started with a 10 here and I said, okay, that's going to be 10 minus 3. That's the difference of the y's. Well, how am I going to write the differences of the x if I, if I select a 10 first? Well, it would be 4 minus 1. Okay, so you have to remain consistent. So let's go ahead and just finish this out. So I get 3 minus 10 here is negative 7. Okay, and 1 minus 4 is negative 3. And a negative divided by a negative is positive, or 7 thirds. Okay, so that is your slope. But you can see here, it still works out the same way. If I have 10 minus 3, that's 7, and 4 minus 1 is 3, or 7 thirds. So it worked out the same way. Um, so it doesn't make a difference which way you approach it, but you do have to remain con uh, consistent uh, with these respective x and y values. That is hugely important. That's where most students make mistakes when they're calculating the slope. All right, so I hope this little video helped you out. Um, uh, please come on over to our website, algebratesthelper.com. It's a free resource, great resource, uh, all designed to make math really easy to learn. Okay, so take care and good luck.